flight. <laughs> Hit the up crap button. Yo. <laughs> Y'all remember back in the early 2000s? I mean, of course you do. You know, Miami just won national championship in 2001. We got robbed in 2002. And then pretty much after that, you know, USC. USC went on their run. You know, the USC Trojans out there in California. Now, what they did have for those back-to-back -back national championships was a dominant running back. A dominant running back by the name of Reggie Bush. I'm pretty sure y'all remember Reggie Bush. Pretty sure y'all remember his dynamics, his, you know, his agility, his abilities to make shit happen when there wasn't nothing. Yeah, that Reggie Bush. Now, what most of y'all do remember about Reggie Bush is in 2010, it came out that Reggie Bush and his parents, you know, was accepting money from agents. They was accepting money while he was playing for USC. What ended up happening is Reggie Bush gave back he forfeited his Heisman Trophy. He forfeited it back. Now, why are we talking about Reggie Bush? This is a Miami Hurricanes channel. Okay, so, the NCAA is going to allow players to be paid for their likeliness, their names, and advertisements, you name it. They could mention their schools in these advertisements and stuff, they just can't use the brand. like. A player from Miami could do a commercial. They just can't have that you in that in that commercial. They can't have this stuff in there. You know, they can't have the, the, the university brand in there. But they can mention, hey, I'm a wide receiver from the Miami Hurricanes. Just like that. But um Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush had his take on this. Now, before I read it, I kind of prejudged what the article was gonna be about. And so I was like, you know what? Let me read it anyway. Now, when I prejudged, I thought Reggie Bush was going to talk about, you know, how players shouldn't be getting paid, this and that, and the third. I was like, you know, what a hypocrite in my mind before I even read it. So, when I read it, he touched on a couple key points. He touched on a couple key points that I want to get into myself, like the money situation, how a lot of players are going to be in danger once they start getting paid. Now, if you look at it, I'm a college student. I'm an athlete. I'm getting paid. Somebody just write me a check to do a commercial for 20 grand. Everybody sees this commercial. Now, most people know how much money you're making. Now, you're not like an athlete in the NFL and everything where you can have bodyguards following you all around all the time and stuff like that. You're a student. You're on campus all the time. People know where you are. They know your, loca your location and stuff like that. So that already is, you know, alarming. You know, there's certain situations like that that, you know, how are they gonna address it? How are they gonna protect these players once they start getting paid? That's the downside to actually paying athletes, especially when you're paying them in a large amount of money like that. But anyways, guys, what y'all thought about that now? Like I said, I prejudge what Reggie Bush was going to say in this, you know, whole thing, you know, seeing that he did take money while he was playing, you know, he broke all the rules or whatever. But what he's saying is players are going to need a lot of guidance. They're going to need a lot of guidance when it comes to getting paid, comes to all of this stuff cuz money make everything change. The people around you going to change. There's going to be people that you thought were your friends and then you're going to find out, you're going to rudely awake, you're going to get a rude awakening. Anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. College athletes getting paid. Um, it's being proposed to the NCAA on October sometime. And then it should be signed and put into works by January 21st. So, what's your thoughts on athletes getting paid? I'm out. Can anybody out there hear me? Yeah, man.